Docs Marine, open seven days a week from 8 to 5. Sales, rental, service, all in one place. It's at Docs Marine, 5803 Eichard Ridge Road. I'm Ralph Mangum here on the WHKY News, and this is Community Focus. Sarah Killian has our weekly update from the City of Hickory, including some Halloween activities in the city, as well as the details on an upcoming hazardous waste disposal event. WHKY's Ariana Mack has the Arts and Entertainment Bulletin Board with the latest from the Green Room's Green Bean Players and the Hickory Community Theater, along with details on the walk to end Alzheimer's and a trunk or treat event coming up at the Hickory Motor Speedway. We'll check in with Sarah first. Joining WHKY in Community Focus, Communications Specialist with the City of Hickory, Office of Communications, Sarah Killian. What's going on for the city? Well, if your family is looking for Halloween fun, there are two great events coming up this week. First up is the Monster Mash and Zombie Crawl in downtown Hickory, Thursday, October 24th from 4 to 6.30 p.m. This spooktacular event is presented by the Hickory Downtown Development Association and includes several different parts. First, Trick or Treat on your downtown streets will take place from 4 to 5 p.m. as downtown businesses give out candy to trick or treaters. This is also the time to stop by the HDDA tent on Union Square to register for the costume contest, which will take place from 5 to 6 p.m. The Hickory Community Theater Guild will judge costumes in three categories, ages six and under, ages seven to 12, and families or groups. Prizes will be awarded. Then at 6 p.m., it will be time to bring on the zombies. Dress up in your best, deadest attire and join us for a zombie walk under the sails on the square from 6 to 6.30 p.m. Then get ready for another evening of spooky treats and sweet treats. The Hickory Parks Recreation and Sports Tourism Department will host its annual trunk or treat this Friday, October 25th from 5 to 8 p.m. at Brown Pen Recreation Center. Wear your Halloween costume and enjoy candy, games, a haunted stage, raffles, and much more. Mark your calendars and start to gather those hard to dispose of items around the house. Residents can clean out their basements, garages, and attics and bring their hazardous waste to Catawba County's annual Fall Residential Household Hazardous Waste Collection event on Saturday, November 2nd from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. at LP Friends Stadium. This event is open to Catawba County residents only and is free of charge. For a list of materials accepted during this event, please visit the City of Hickory or Catawba County website. Of course. And how can we stay connected with the City of Hickory? If people want to stay in the know about city projects, happenings, and events, you can do so by signing up for city e-newsletters. You can get monthly emails sent directly to your inbox about general city news, meetings, and special events. You can also learn about library events and programs, parks, recreation, and sports tourism opportunities, and business information and resources. Sign up for one, two, three, or all four available e-newsletters today. Just look for the e-newsletters button on the homepage of the city's website, hickorync.gov. And as always, for more news and information about what's happening in your city of Hickory, be sure to follow us on social media. Thank you so much for joining us, Sarah. And now I'll add a few more events coming up in your Hickory Metro. Get ready for a chilling adventure into North Carolina's most legendary ghost stories. The Green Bean Players are bringing Carolina's spook tales to life in a special public performance at 6 p.m. on Thursday, October 24th at the Green Room Community Theater. Audiences are invited to gather around the campfire as a group of friends recount some of the state's most haunting legends, including a love stronger than the sea, brown mountain lights, and the pirate ghost of Folly Island. These timeless tales deeply rooted in North Carolina's history are great for students in fourth grade and up, offering an engaging mix of history and folklore. Whether you're a fan or local legends, whether you're a fan of local legends or seeking an educational and entertaining experience for students, Carolina Spook Tales promises to captivate and thrill. Get your tickets at thegreenroomtheater.org. Held annually in more than 600 communities nationwide, the Alzheimer's Association Walk to End Alzheimer's is the world's largest fundraiser for the diseased care, support, and research. The inspiring event calls on participants of all ages and abilities to join the fight against the disease. This weekend at LP Fran Stadium, the 2024 Walk to End Alzheimer's on Saturday, October 26th. Registration begins at 9 a.m. For more information, visit alz.org. 
Looking for a unique, thought-provoking night at the theater? Don't miss the squirrels on stage at the Fireman's Kitchen at Hickory Community Theater from October 18th through November 2nd. This dark comedy takes a wild look at the battle for survival and power in a world where even squirrels aren't safe from conflict. With biting humor and unexpected twists, The Squirrels is sure to make you laugh, think, and maybe even squirm a little. Please note this production is rated R for mature themes. Get your tickets today at hickorytheater.org or call the box office at 828-328-2283. That's The Squirrels showing at Hickory Community Theater November 2nd in the Fireman's Kitchen. You won't want to miss this unforgettable show. Also, the 8th Annual Hickory Area Trunk or Treat, presented by Sig Holcomb State Farm and Silas Ducks, will be held at Hickory Motor Speedway on Saturday, October 26th from 3 to 6 p.m. It is free admission with food trucks, bouncy houses, free candy, pony rides, and so much more. This is going to be a great event pre-Halloween to kick off the week. WHKY will be in attendance, excited to pass out candy again this year. That is all for the Community Focus Bulletin Board. Get out and explore your Hickory Metro. I'm Ariana Mack for WHKY. Thanks to Ariana Mack and the City of Hickory's Sarah Killian. And thank you all for joining us here on Community Focus. Now on behalf of Rob Eastwood, Ariana Mack, Jason Savage, and Sarah Killian, I'm Ralph Mangum. This has been the WHKY News.